Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name for your goodness, for your love. We thank you for all the things you are doing. Baba wa tin be loran adupe lowo yin fun isore yin fun ife yin adupe lowo yin fun gbogbo ti en se You are worthy of our praise you are worthy of our worship because we know that you are the great almighty all sufficient one Eyin ni ope wa to si ba kan na ni eyin ni ijosin wa to si tori pe awon mo pe eyin ni Olorun Olodumare We all with self confidence in coming before you because we know that whatever be the need whatever the, whatever be the request you are able to meet everything O kan wa ma nba le ni gba gbogbo ti a ba wa su waju Tori kwe manda wa lo ju ipe on konto uko jia eni On konto uko jia bi adura wa eri seta la di bifun wa fun wa We know assuredly we have confidence that your love will never fail Your word will never fail And your goodness unto us will go on from generation to generation O da wa lo ju bang ba okan wa si bale ipe O ju re re yi koni kuna Ife yi si wa koni kuna Back on our knee, I know you let you run there, Ronnie. You have called us together so that whatever spiritual needs we have, whatever physical or material needs we have, you can be of help. You can meet them. Ekwe wa jokwa kwa kyo ba le jayu pe on konto ba jaya ni wa boya ni kwa tara ni tabi ni kwa temi ki ya yiki ole kwe se wa fun wa We are praying that you encourage everyone's faith tonight once again in Jesus name Angba dra kwe ki e rui ba gbo luku luku so ke lo ni ni oruko jesu We are praying oh lord that you get us closer to yourself so that we will know you more understand you more rely on your promises more and have our prayers answered more and more Angba dra kwe la sale ki e ron luku luku wa lo wo ki a we are dependent upon you. There is no other place for us to go. There is no other one for us to depend upon. You are the one that has called us unto you we have come. And we pray, o Lord, that none of us will be so foolish as to go and rely on the arms of flesh or go and rely on things that cannot save, things that cannot heal, things that that cannot deliver. And bad rap, we kill Massey and Nicanilla and you are too young, Mugot to beg, that it will lock back a lint to keep Danila, that it will lock to beg back a lint to lay one is a tickle slay than any day. Our prayer is that you help us to uh, pray so much and pray with faith. Until the requests are granted. Agbadura kwe kye ene wa lwa 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 Tobe ege ti avi lwa lwa titi avi da wa wa lwa wa Speak to our hearts even now. Eba okan wa soro ba yi. Increase our faith even now. E mui gba gwa wa da gba si. Stir us up to depend upon you more even now. E ru wa so ke ke ale tu bo simi le yin si ni si si yi. And to bring all our complaints, all our problems, all our difficulties, all our sorrows and suffering before you. Ki as le mu gbo gbo wa la wa a eba le okan wa la si go to juju. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. The message we have tonight is something that every child of God should be interested in. Our very existence depends upon God. Our life depends upon God. Our progress, our success, our joy, our happiness depends upon God. After all, I'm sure you know that God created us and brought us into this world. And God doesn't do anything without a purpose. So then when he brought us into this place, he had a purpose in mind. And it should be in our interest that we should be asking God, O oh Lord, what is that purpose? Why am I here? What do you want me to achieve spiritually, physically, or any way as I am here in the world? And then to be sure we do not walk ahead of God. We do not run ahead of God. And we do not do anything that is contrary to the purpose for which he established us here. In Psalm 103. Psalm 100 verse 3. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves we are his people 
and the sheep of his pasture. Ki e yin ki o mo pe Oluwa ohun ni Olorun o nle o dawa ti re le awa se awa le eniyan re ati agun tan papa re. This is telling us that we do not live like orphans in this world. Ele lo n so fun wa wi pe a ki gbe nu aye gege bi omo alai ni baba. We shouldn't allow ourselves to be so dejected, to be so sorrowful, to be so hopeless. We should understand God made us, he established us here, he placed us here. E yi lo n fi wa lo kan bale wi pe a ko gbodo wonu ire we si okan tabi aini reti an lati fo kan bale gba ngba wi pe olorun lo da wa on lo si fi ese wa mule ti o fi wa si yin he says we are his people and the sheep of his pasture o so pe awa le eniyan re ati ago tan papa re when he says we we are his people that is he made us well it has reference to two areas of our existence nigba ti o so pe awa le eniyan re iyen ni pe on lo se da wa o si ni se pelu ipa meji ninu aye wa a person may be a sinner who has never known the lord as his personal savior iyan le je lese ti ko ti and maybe you are here today in this congregation. You really have never known the Lord as your personal Savior. But you are sure to know this that He made you and you did not make yourself. And in Acts of the Apostles chapter 17, while Paul the Apostle was talking to the people that did not know God as yet, the people that didn't know the only true God through the Lord Jesus Christ is beloved son. In Acts chapter 17, verse 23 chapter 17 of Acts verse 23 as I passed by and beheld your devotions I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God whom therefore ye ignorantly worship him declare I unto you nitori bi mo tin koja lo ti mo si wo ohun oni ti eyin sin mo si ri pepe kan ti ako akole yi si fun olorun aimo nje eni ti eyin sin le aimo o na le emi so fun yin so then the people that Paul the apostle addressed here were people who had not known God nitori na eni ti Paul at postel in verse oro ni won je awon ti won o ti mo olorun rara but see what he told them in the very next verse wo wa won ka to so fun oni ese ti o tele God that made the world and all the things therein, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, and dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Then in verse 28 it says, For in him we live and move and have our being. So that means even if you have not known God as a personal savior, your existence depends upon him. Your life depends upon him. The fact that you are sleeping and waking up and going up and going down is because of the goodness and the love and the mercy of God. So what we are read in Psalm 100 verse 3, that he made us and not we ourselves, that refers to all of us in general. But then it says we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Now for those of us who have relationship with the Lord. And you can say that the Lord is my shepherd. We are the sheep of his pasture. We are his people. And so you understand that there's a special relationship that God has with you if you're a child of God, if you have known God through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And the Lord has given such people promises in His Word. And of course, He has given all His creatures, all people that are created by Him, even those who are not born again. He has given all of us 
promises in his word. Baka na nyo si jayi kwe ati a wanto molu wawo ati a wanti o molu wawo kwa wati o jayi da wawore. Oni a wawo eli rifu wani no wawore. You will be surprised the promises God makes to all the people that have never known him. E no ti e ya o ti o bari o kwa lopwa eli riti o lwa no se fwa wanti o ti le ti ima. You will be so surprised as you look at the Bible the promises that God has made that he delights in their joy. He delights in their salvation. He delights in their repentance. You will be surprised the wonderful things he says to those who are not born again if they will only come and give themselves unto the Lord. Enu yo ya o ni gba ti o bari o po lo po ile ri ti Olorun se fun awon ti won o ti e ti mo wi pe Olorun fe ki won ki o ni ayo Olorun fe ki won ki o de ni igbala Olorun fe ki ojo e waju won ko se rere ti won yo ba le igba anfani na lati ronu pada ki won o to wa ki won si gba ni Oluwa to igbala won That is why you find in the Old Testament God the Father calling the sinners come unto me Idini ti o fi le ri nu ma je mu lai lai pe Olorun Olodumare baba o n pe awe lese pe wa sodo mi Come and let us reason together Pe e wa je ki a joso aso ye po Come and eat the fatness and your soul shall delight in me E wa je ora lopo lopo ki okan yin ko le ma fe ti mi temi Come and seek the Lord while there is opportunity E wa wa Oluwa nigbati anfani eyi si wa ni be Come and look unto him and be ye saved all the ends of the earth E wa ke si wo Oluwa ki a si gba yin la gbogbo opin ile aye He gives us promises because he made us created all o fun wa ni awon ile ri nitori po lo da wa ti o si je le da wa that is why you find even jesus christ the son of god telling us in the new testament come unto me ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest idi ni ti o fi je pe e o ri jesus christ inu ma je mu ti to to so so pe e wa sodo mi gbogbo en ti si se ti a de ru ele lori the father says come the son says come baba so pe e wa omo na so pe e ma bo and then we are told in the very last chapter of the new testament that's revelation chapter 22 the spirit and the bride say come idi ni ti o fi je pe ni oju ewe to gbe yin nu we fi han ori keji le logun ti atun ri emi olorun to so ati oko iya o to pe ma bo that's the whole triune god the the god the father god the son and god the holy ghost telling the sinner you don't have to perish god delights in you come unto the lord idi ni ti a fi ri olorun meta lo kan olorun baba olorun omo olorun emi ma ti a meta ta fi ma so kan pe elese oni lati se gbe o nlati wa ki o si ye and then the moment you come already a promise is waiting for you ni gere ti o ba si ti wa daju daju na o ile ri tin duro di o if we confess our sins is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness bi a o ba je wo ese wa oloto ati olododo ni lati darijin wa ati lati we wa nu ko nu ase dede gbogbo he that comes unto me i will in no wise cast all eni keni ti o ba to mi wa emi ki o ta nu bi o ti wu ki ori come and you shall find rest unto your soul e wa eyin o si ri sin mi fun okan yin and you see god has promises for everyone o ma olorun si ni opolopo ile ri fun awon elukuluku eniyan and the moment you enter into the kingdom of god what great promises you already have ni gere ti o ba si wo ijoba olorun agbaya nu ile ri nduro di o once you become a child of god lese kese ti o ba di omo olorun you are not little flock because it is your father's pleasure to give you the kingdom e ma se beru agbo kekere nitori didun inu ni baba ni lati fun yin ni ijoba na promises waiting for you awon ile ri nduro di o ask and ye shall receive see can ye shall find and no can it shall be opened unto you bere a fi fun yin wa kire en yo ri e si kan kun a si si sile fun yin the moment you enter into the kingdom of god the promises of god waiting for you and the word of god telling you that if you will ask in my name that's the name of jesus that he will give you whatsoever you ask him ni gere ti o ba ti wo ijoba olorun ni ile ri olorun nduro di ope ki o bere ni oruko mi yen ni ni oruko jesus o nko ti e ba si bere le oruko mi emi o se fun yin that's why tonight i'm talking to you on the title of a particular song you know the common song that we normally sing concerning the promise of god idi ni to fi je pe ohun ti mo nba yin soro lori ile lo asale yi akori yi o ni se pelu orin ti o wo po ti o pe fere je pe gbogbo omo olorun lo mo standing on the promises of god duro lori ile ri olorun standing on the promises of god duro lori ile ri olorun and here is what will make your life happy ohun ti o si je ki aye re ko layo ni here is what will make you successful ohun ti o je ki o si ase yori ni because you see god has promises for us for the present life nitori pe olorun ni awon ile ri fun wa fun aye sinsin yi every new day in your life there is a new promise of god from the bible that can support you that can uphold you for that new day gbogbo ojo tun to ba tin yoju ninu ojo aye re olorun ni awon ile ri kan ti o ni se pelu ojo yen ti o si le gbe oro fun ojo na every new challenge that comes upon your life there is a promise of god that is able to meet that challenge 
gbogbo ipenija to ba doju ko aye re ni ojo kokan olorun ni awon ileri to le bori ipenija won yi every new conflict every new temptation every new battle that arises in your life there is a promise of god that is waiting for you able to clear you from all the conflict and all the battle gbogbo idoju ko gbogbo ogun gbogbo ijakadi to ba doju ko aye re ni otun olorun ni awon ileri ti o le mu edoju ko awon ipenija na ti o si je ko bori won every new adversary every new enemy every new demon every new affliction that may rise up or raise its ugly head to uh, to go against your life or to hinder your progress there is a promise of god awaiting you to deal with that enemy to deal with that problem gbogbo awon ota gbogbo awon adojuko ni gbogbo awon wahala to ba dojuko aye re awon oro olorun ti wa to ti se leri ti o le yanju gbogbo awon wahala ati ota to ba dojuko emi re every new opportunity in your life every new possibility every new privilege in your life there is a promise of god that is to strengthen you to equip you to make you face that new opportunity and be able to have a fulfillment in your life gbogbo awon afani otun gbogbo ase yori otun to ba wo oju to ba dojuko aye re ti olorun si ti se to fun aye re olorun ni awon ileri kan to si le yanju gbogbo awon for every attack of the devil, for every arrow from the devil, for the for the darts coming from Satan to attack your life and to pull you down, to knock you down, there is a promise of God that's available for you to make you an overcomer, to make you conquer. Go go attack or let your daughter wa go go fa, let your daughter wa go go ipin ma wa ni okoko, let your daughter wa. Tio le fe doju kwa yere koswe di eduani le. Olorun ti ni le rika ni kwato ele to le yaju go go awo tana to le jeko bori. Every kind of uh, temptation, every type of temptation, any kind of temptation that comes to you, there is a promise in the word of God to make you stand and stand firm on not defeated by the devil, but you become an overcomer. There's always a promise awaiting you. Go go e down wo to ba le wa si waju aye re, go go e yiri wo to ba le wa sinu aye re. Olorun ti ni awon ileri kan to le je pe to ba ti gba ileri yego wa le duro, wa le duro sinsin lati le bori Jesus ko ma di edun arin le. We pass through many stages in life. Opolopo igbala ma ri unu aye wa. At times you feel that you are young. Igba mira wa ri pe oje odo. Young in age and young in the law. Do you know that at such a stage in your life, when you are young, when you are just a babe in the Lord, there are promises of God that will give you assurance, that will give you confidence, that will keep you standing, that will keep you victorious. You are not married yet as a woman, you are not married yet as a man, and there are some peculiar problems confronting those who are not married do you know that even in that situation and in that state there is a promise of god or there are promises of god that will keep you fit and make you the person you ought to be o je ma o ti iloko tabi oko ti ilaya nigba ti o ba wa ni iru ipo bayi ti oko ti iloko ti oko ti ilaya awon nkan kan wa to ma n doju ko iru awon eyan to ba wa ni iru ipo be o je wa fo kan ba le wi pe awon ileri olorun kan wa fun iru awon eyan to wa ni iru ipo be lati je ki o je eni ti o je ko je gan my brother my sister the moment you marry it appears life changes you see what in the way you were living before and the conveniences you had before the comfort you had before things change some new people come into your life that were not there before the in-laws and the people and the friends of the husband and the friends of the wife a lot of things change in that new state in your life there are promises you know all you need to do is just look at the word of god and say which promise of god is meant for this new state in which i find myself every new day it appears you may meet a new condition even a new person and these new people that we meet, they are either here or there. They are either good or bad. They are either helpful or they hinder. Whatever it is, whatever their inclination and their intention against your life or for your life, there is always a promise of God you can depend upon. 
awon eyan to to a wonu aye re awon ka wa ni awon ko wa lohun awon ka je ran lowo awon ka je olude na ni ru iru akoko to dabi eni pe o ba iru iko bayi pade on to je mo ni pe oro olorun ni awon ileri fun o to le je ki o je asegun one of the greatest comforts in a believer's life is to know that there are promises of god meant for the present life o kan to je itunu ninu igbe aye oni gbagbo ni gbogbo oju aye re ni pe ki o mo mo wi pe ileri olorun kan wa fun aye sese yi fun it is not only that you know even after we die and we go beyond the grave are you not surprised that in the bible even god has preserved for us promises that will carry us through promises of what we're going to enjoy even when we leave this world o je mo pe le ni kanko nigbati a ba ti le ku ti a ko ja lo saju le orun ileri oro olorun wa fun wa ti olorun ti se eto fun wa pe leyin ku ki o le mu wa laaja and so we know from all the indications of the bible we know from what how god dealt with other people that had gone before us that we can stand on the promises of god o wa ye wa okan wa si ba le wi pe bi olorun se ba awon kan lo awon to je pe won ti ti aye yi ko ja lo sinu iku nigba ti a ba ri awon eleyi a le fi okan ba le lati duro leri ileri olorun what if uh, it were possible that i wasn't preaching today what if it were possible i could bring some people in the bible days to you to testify unto you i believe that the conclusion of their testimony will be to say brethren stand on the promises of god ka lo se se fun mi ki ma wa su loni ki wa mu ikan ninu awon ti ati rinu bibeli ti o si je pe ki wa fi won si waju yin lati jeri igbe aye won fun o o ma ninu gbogbo iforo we ro won pelu yin ohun ti o je ri won na ni pe eyin ara edo lori ileri olorun let's try to picture the way it will look if abram were to come here e ja foju nu wo ka ni o se se pe abram yo do ni waju wa bayi ni abram were to give his own testimony ki abram o wa je ri igbe aye re how god gave him a promise that at old age he will have a son gaga bi olorun ti fi ileri fun o pe ni ojo ogbo re yo du omo let's picture abram telling us about the condition of his body ka wa fi oju ni wo abram ko ma so bi ara re se ri ni gba na and in his uh, gentle voice and low voice as an old man in his low voice he begins to tell us how dead the body was pelu o kele o pele re o won arugbo re ki o bere se wa salaye fun wa ye ke ye ke bi ara re se ku si and i want you to picture sarah coming just at that time beside him and with all face wrinkled but with a smile and all the hair already white and saying oh Yes that is true I was also so old I never knew that anything could take place Ke wa foju nu wo ki sara iyawo re ko ma te pa bo ko si do legbe re pelu gbogbo irun re to ti to di funfun pelu oju re to ti gbo tan e ri pe pelu erin ato yaya ni o fi so wi pe ah ni ojo na ngo mo pe nkan ka le sele mo And then here comes the response to all their testimony they lift up this little boy Isaac and say this is the evidence that God is a faithful God and they conclude their testimony by telling you brethren stand on the promises of god leke gbogbo re ki won wa mu abajade igbagbo won ti se saki ki won gbe soke han yi pe eleyi ni abajade ileri olorun ki won wa fi yin lokan bale pe yin ara edo lori ileri olorun we generally give time for more than one testimony when we have time here comes moses awa ma nfi akoko nigba ta ba fe jeri o ma nju eri kan lo ki moses o to wa jade and here comes moses talking about the promise of god not just to one individual about for the old nation of the children of Israel. Ki Moses wa ma salaye yeke yeke ni pa ileri Olorun ti ki se fun enikan soso sugbon fun gbogbo orilede Israel. That these children of Israel were under oppression. Pe awon ma Israel won wa la be da loro. And he begins to describe the affliction and the oppression because he was there. He saw them when they were being beaten. Ko bere se wa ma salaye ipaju ti an doju ko nitori pe ki se ti an royin fun o wa ni be ngba ta fi ya je won. And in the palace when they were planning in a conspiracy how they will deal with those children of Israel because he grew up in the palace. That he knew what they were saying. Ko wa bere se salaye awon agbimo awon eto ti won se laafin pharaoh nipa bi won yo se pa gbogbo omo israel irun tori pe laafin ilo gbe dagba. And then among those young Egyptians that were learning in the science and the learning of the Egyptians what they were planning in school that the political system when they grow up this is how they are going to oppress the children of Israel they will never let them go and be free people. Moses knew it all. To ba je pe ko wa menu ba gbogbo eto ati aba ti awon to keko ni ma science ni le eko awon ara egypt ni gba na 
gbogbo eyin koro yin won gbogbo eto won pe ta ba gba ijoba ba won yo se pon israeli loju ni ta won ni je ki won ko lo mose ma gbogbo re and then he begins to tell you all wicked uh, pharaoh was that pharaoh will not let the people go ko bere si salaye bi pharaoh se je olubi si pe ohun ki yo je ki awon yan and then moses begins to talk of the promise of god that he made to abraham ki mose o bere si wa ma so gbogbo awon e le ri olorun ti olorun se fun abraham and these people are going to leave the land of egypt pe awon eyan yi o won yo fi le egypt si le they will become a great nation won di orilede nla they will become a mighty nation won di orilede to lagara they will be heard up in all other nations pe won yo gbo won ni gbogbo orilede yoku and then moses in, in trying to conclude his testimony ki mose wa be pari eri re he says well you know how god fulfilled that ko ni e mo bi olorun se mu ele ise that in almost all the books of the bible you have the name israel that nation israel has been known in all generations now and by all people now pe o bere je pe ni gbogbo oju ewe to wa ninu bibeli la tin daruko israeli israeli ati pe orilede israeli yi o bere je pe gbogbo agbalaye lo ti ma bayi and then he tells you in concluding his testimony and he says well for those of you who don't treat the bible and for those of you who don't see the name of israel in the bible look at your newspapers and all in the, all the newspapers all over the world you have the name of israel and you have that nation still there today because of the promises of god and he says but the end of the whole thing is that stand on the promises of god ki o wa fe pari eri re ko ru awon to je pe won ti won ki ka bibeli soke pe eyin ti e ku ti e ka bibeli awon awe iroyin gbogbo agbaye lo so nipa orilede israel orilede yi bi a se n pa pe koku be lo nye nitori na eyin ti e o ko ma nkan won ohun ti e nladi se ni pe edu olori ile ri olorun and then here comes a multitude of people lining up to give their testimony ogoro awon eyan lo wa toyi ti won fe fi eri won fo oluwa the prophets of the old testament awon woli ma je mu lai lai the patriarchs of the old testament awon baba la ma je mu lai lai the princes of the old testament awon ma lade ma je mu lai lai and a lot of people from the old testament ogoro awon eyan lati nu ma je mu lai lai and here comes some people that were not even israelites awon ka si re ti won ki ti e so mo israeli coming from moab ti won ti moab wa or coming from the coming from jericho tabi ti won ti jericho wa telling us that the promises of god are yes and amen in christ ti won fi wa lo kan ba le pe gbogbo ele ri olorun be ni ati amini and then the door just open ki le kun wa si ba ya we see a multitude a wa ri ogoro awon eyan of people coming from the new testament era awon to je pe ni iran ma je mu ni won ti jade wa the people that met jesus christ awon to ri jesus loju koju the people that thought the aim of his coming awon ti won fo won kan ise ti a so re the people that called him jesus thou son of david have mercy upon me awon to pe pe jesus omo david is anu fun mi the people that came on crutches awon to mu papada ni wa those who were blind awon to foju those who were demon possessed awon ti esun pa loju those who were terrible sinners awon to je lese to buruju those who are just roaming about wanderers in this world awon alarin kiri ti ori bi gbe ti won anu aye yi and they, when they met jesus christ according to the promise of god is changed them from a non entity and he changed them to somebody in the kingdom of god nigba ti won si si alabapade jesus christ o so won awon mu won ku onu ipo eni ye pere o si so won di eyan pataki ni jobo olorun and all these multitude of people ogoro awon eyan lai ni ye won the old and the new testament lati ma je mu lai lati ma je mu tutun they conclude their testimony like this won wa pari eri won si gboloyin they say from what god has done pe ninu won ti olorun ti se o the fact that he has never failed tori pe koku na ri they point to you won wa to ka si o and say whatever mountain you have won wa ni oke koke to ba ni whatever affliction you have ipaju ki paju to ba ni whatever sickness is raging in your body i san kai san to ru bi omi okunu aye re whatever enemies are running around to destroy you o takota to le ma sare kiri lati fe pa orun whatever fire is trying to burn you and consume you ina kina to npe ti ati ju o lati pa orun whatever sea of the enemy is trying to drown you okun o takokun o ta to ba fe gbe omi whatever battle whatever conflict ogun kogun ija kija whatever thought and whatever fear you have ero kero tabi iba 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 le okan to ni they say that all we can tell you it is safe and it is right and it is profitable to stand on the promises of god o wa pari ohun gbogbo si pe iba le okan ta le fo ni wi pe all for kan ni bale o si mu iba le okan da ni loju lati le duro nu le ri olorun my brothers and sisters here tonight i want to challenge you stand on the promises of god ara korin atarabirin mi lale mo fe pe onija duro lori awon ile ri olorun in first kings chapter 8 and verse 56 ninu awon obakin ni orikejo ese ikeji ese ikerinde ni ogota 
First Kings chapter eight and verse fifty six. I want back in ni ori kejo esa ikeni de ni ogota. Open it in your Bible and mark it in your Bible. Sini no bibeli reko si fala sini di no bibeli re. This should be the foundation under the under your faith. Ele lo bado je ikule ti bagbo redu le lori. Storm the storm may come. Ijile wa o. The wind may blow. Ijile maja. And the floods may beat against your house of faith. Ole da bi ani pe rumi o da bi ankon kolo o ko ibagbo. If you base your faith on this foundation, nothing will shake the foundation of your faith. Ti o ba le gbe igbagbo re lori ipile yi ko si ijikije ka to le mi igbagbo re. Enemies may come. Awon ta le wa o. Satan may whisper. Satan le ma kegbe. Let your faith stand on the foundation on the word of God. Je ki igbagbo re ko duro lori ipile oro loro oro lorun. Do you know uh, Martin Luther? Njo ma Martin Luther. That man was a practical man. Okunrin o je en to ma nfi nkan soju ise. He's been all the reformer because you see it was very central to the reformation that took place abroad the protestant church o ma a pe ni olutun se to ri di ta ti pe ni olutun se ni pe akoko ti se ran se re bere o ni awon ijo awon to n gbe irinrega you see because of the greatness of the work that god gave him to do o ma ni tori bi ise ti olorun se fun o bo se lagbara to there was a time that he was writing akoko kan wa ti o n ko iwe and this time he was writing you know writing scriptures writing message and one in the people to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Ni akoko yi o nko iwa su o nko awon awe o fe ki awon eyan ki o gba Jesus Christ Oluwa gbo. It appears that the devil came in his real person. O wa da be ni pe isu o yoju si loju koju at a particular place at the wall. Ni bi kan lara ogiri. And he was uh, when the wall was writing the devil was wanting to torment him wanting to afflict him wanting to put doubt in his mind. Bi o se nko we yi isu fe pa loju isu fe mu iye meji wa sinu okan re. Those were the times they were using the normal pen with an ink bottle that you will put the pen in the ink bottle and write a little and put it in the ink bottle again and write a little you, you know that if you are old enough to remember before virus and fountain pens came when the devil appeared like that, this man was so bold in faith. He took the bottle of ink, threw it at him, and said, Devil, I have nothing to do with you. Do you know that till today? If you go to that place where Martin Luther was at that time, you will see the mark of that ink on that wall. The people they refused to paint the place, they refused to touch the place. They said that was the, to show the fierceness of the anger and the wrath of Martin Luther against the devil, saying, "We have nothing to do in common. Get out of there." And the devil had to get away from him. And that man did the work God has appointed him to do. Let your faith be based on the foundation of the word of God because we know God will never fail. You know it already. If you are sick, there's no problem. We have the myriads of promises in the Bible that God will heal you. What are you going through? And the promises of God will not cover. Stand on the promises of God. In 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 56. Blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people Israel. According to all that he promised there has not failed one word of all his good promise which he promised by the hand of Moses a servant. Ibuko ni fu oluwa ti o ti fi si mi fu Israel ni yare. Gegebi ibogwe iti o ti shelleri koku orokan ni nu ibogwe leri re re re. 
Can you say this without having some joy in your heart? Without being excited, you are a child of God. Can you say this without being happy that you are a follower of Jesus Christ? Here is Solomon telling all the children of Israel. He said, Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Which has given rest unto his people Israel. Oh, if Moses could have heard those words, what Moses would have thought about, he would have thought, look at the plan of Pharaoh. Look at the plan of all those his horsemen. Look at the thought of the unbelievers, the Gentiles, thinking that we're going to join the, in the Red Sea. Look at the thought of the mixed multitude thinking that as we're going through the wilderness, there was no hope. And Joshua also said, Moses, you know what? The, the people in Jericho, they thought we will never enter. And those people in Ai, they thought they were going to destroy us. And then all the judges, they support. And they said all those Philistines and the Amorites and the Midianites, they thought that the people of Israel will never settle down. And so they all joined the chorus of the joyful singing unto the Lord. And so they all joined the chorus of the joyful singing unto the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. That has given rest unto his people Israel. Brothers and sisters, if you can stand on the promises of God, there's nothing to worry about. You too will see. Sister, if you can stand on the promises of God, you know, Pharaoh might be telling you, or the horsemen might be telling you, or the circumstances of the Red Sea might be telling you, and those people, wicked people at Jericho might be telling you. You will never find a home where you can rest. That you will never find a home, you'll never get married, you'll just be like that, and shifting from this accommodation to that accommodation, there will be no rest for you. But remember, the devil is a liar. The devil, remember that all those braggings of Pharaoh and his horsemen, they are empty. They have no way to stand. If you will stand on the promises of God, my dear sister, you will discover, blessed be the Lord that has given rest unto his people. How did he give rest unto his people? According to all that he promised. According to all that he promised. I give you the responsibility to begin to find those promises that are meant for your life. Be searching, don't search for problems, search for promises. Don't magnify your problem, magnify the promises. Don't look at your mountain even if the mountain is there, eh, look away from the mountain and go and look for the promise that will match that mountain and remove that mountain. And so you will stand on the promises of God. And the promises of God will never fail. Because, you see, it says, Blessed be the Lord who has given rest unto his people Israel according to all that he promised. Well, here is the way to success. Here is the way to victory. Here is the way to satisfaction. Here is the way to our healing. Here is the way to our deliverance. Here is the way to enjoy the 
the Christian life. Here is the way to overcome the enemy. Here is the way that the plan of God for your life will not be hindered or limited or disturbed by anybody, by anything. You know, if we fail, it's because we didn't search out the promises, we didn't stand on the promises. If you are sick, find time to search for promises of God that promises you healing. If you are confused, find time to search for the promises of God that will give you steadfastness and stability in your soul. If you are tired and weak spiritually, you don't know whether to continue, how to continue, find time to search for the promises of God that will strengthen you in your weakness. If you are sick and you are trembling and timid and fearful, find time to search for the promises of God that will give you boldness, that will give you confidence in God. Find time to search for the promises of God that will give you boldness, any attack, if there's any affliction, the devil is trying to dribble you, if the devil is trying to torment your life, find time to just search for the promises of God and when you find those promises of God, stand on the promises of God, they will never fail. It says he has given rest to his people according to all that he promised. He says there has not failed one word of all his good promise. You see that? There has not failed one word of all his good promise. Which he promised by the hand of Moses a servant. I believe that the promises of God are still true today. We cannot lose, we cannot fail, we cannot be defeated if we stand on the promises of God. When you stand on the promises of God, you will be like a person that is standing on a solid ground. You, you, you are not afraid. You know, sometimes imagine yourself, you are standing on a very solid, heavy bridge, and there, there's water on side. You look at the right, there is water. You look at the left, there is water. Everywhere there is water, but you are standing on that solid bridge. You are not afraid because you cannot swim because the water cannot touch you. You are standing on the bridge. You will see the crocodiles in those rivers perhaps and see all those whales and those big fishes and you will see the whales tossing the ship up and down but that doesn't touch you because you are standing on the bridge. Why don't you stand from this day on the promises of God? If you know that if you look at a particular person, you'll be afraid, then don't look at him, look at the promises. When you think of a particular situation in your life, that thinking or that thought will bring fear in your heart, then don't think about it. Think about the promises. You see that when you read a threatening letter from a particular fellow that has been bragging and planning and, and cons uh, conspiring all these years, when you read that letter, uh, 
cold sweat will run through your body, then don't read it. Read the promises of God. Ti o ba mo ri pe ti o ba ka iwe ti eni kan ko si o to ma n deruba o to ma ha le mo ninu gbogbo iwe re si o to ba si ti ka iwe yi otutu ojo otutu ogun yo dabo lojiji ki lo de pa iwe na ti segbe kan iwo ma ka ile ri olorun. If you know that any time you see those masquerade and you see all those shrine people, you see all those uh, idol worshippers beating their drum and saying their incantation, it will make fear to grip you and to bind you, then don't look at them, then don't visit home when such festivals are going on concentrate on the promises of God that can never fail So ba ma we pe ni gere ti o ba ti ri awon egun ti o si ri awon loro tabi to ri won ti an po fo ti an se aye ye odun odun egun won gbogbo igba to ba ti re leyi ni iberu ma nwo nu okan re iwo ma lo sodo won na koko ti e ba se aye ye odun won iwo ma ti e lo sile iko o bi gbogbo okan re sori ile ri olorun You remember that prophet that cursed you and said it will never go well with you you have left there you have left there yard you have left uh, all the rituals ceremonies that they can cost you every time you remember confusion will come doubt will come uncertainty will come don't think about what that false prophet said look into the word of god and stand on the promises of god igba gbogbo to ba ran ti oro wo le eke ni ele to fi o gegun to ni ko ni dara fun o tabi nkan kan ni tori ko ko la gbule won tabi oku oni bi ti gba tin se ayeye won ati won tin se eru bo won nitori eleyi ni gere ti o ba tin ran ti oro re eru ade iberu oka wo nu okan re iwo ma se ro nu lori oro re mo iwo ma ro ni lori ileri olorun that dream that you are carrying about i had this dream i had this every time you remember that that dream your thoughts will be saying Satan will be saying demons will be saying people will be interpreting they will say that means this that means this it will bring fear of defeat in your life don't think about that dream concentrate on the promises of god igba gbogbo to ba ti ran ti ala ni to n gbe kaakiri pe mo ti lalabai ni gere to ba si ti ran ti re isu asoro emi okoko asoro awon eyan gan papa won ma se tun mo pe bayi lo ma ri bayi lo ma ri ni gba ire te ba si so be eru a wonu okan re iwo ma ro nu lori re ma du lori ileri olorun this is the way to have the victory ona isegun leleyi o this is the way to be more than a conqueror ona ti a fi ju asegun lo ni this is the way to be an overcomer whatever comes against your life ona ti a fi ju asegun ati ajagun segun ni ti o nko to buko wa sinu aye re that you will have faith in god pe ki oni igbagbo ninu olorun in mark chapter 11 reading from verse 22 ninu mark ori kokan la lati ese ikeji le logun these are the verses you need awon ese oro olorun to oni lo ni won if you see these are the verses you need to ban size oni lo ese oro olorun yi satan is hindering your life these are the verses you need jesus ban di aye re lowo oni lo ese oro olorun yi if the devil is threatening you that life is about to come to an end that death is coming this is these are the verses you need ti ku ban ha le mo to so pe okun emi re fe de ku pe wole de ele ni ese ti oni lo if enemies are causing you in the dream and causing you in the day these are the verses you need ti awon ota ti ban fi o se pe loju ala ti fi o se pe loju aye awon ese oro olorun to oni lo ni if your life is being wrecked by fear and timidity and it appears you cannot make any progress these are the verses you need to ba je pe eru jeje ogin nitin o ma nwo nu okan re ni gba gbogbo teru ma nbo awon ese oro olorun to oni lo if you have been telling yourself i will never make it i will never succeed i will never live the christian life i can never pray my prayers will never be answered if you have already brought yourself on that defeat these are the verses from the lips of jesus christ that you need to ba je pe igba gbogbo lo so fu aye re wi pe ah n ko ro pe ma le sa se yori n ko ro pe rere kan be ni waju fun mi n ko ro pe won ni se go kankan to ba je pe iru awon nkan wa yi lo ti fi di ara re ni gbe kun eleyi ni oro to tenu jesus christ wa to si ni lo re if there is a certain sin that is keeping you down and the devil is saying you will never be free you are going to go to hell you are going to die in this condition and you want to be saved and you want to be restored and you don't want to remain a backslider these are the verses of scripture that you need ti awon ese ti o rorun lati di ma ni to ba di ma aye re gban gban ti o tin so n so fun pe o ni lo sorun o ni ni iya ni pekun to si dabi eni pe lokan ti re papa oro po ko ni le ni de iya ni pekun sugbon ninu re lohun o fe de ni igbala o fe pada wa le gege bi asako awon ese oro rorun to ni lo if you have been praying and fasting, praying and fasting, you fast and fast and fast until you almost become like a dry stick. And yet, the problems are still there. The mountains are still there. What will I do again? I've told you tonight, this is what to do. These are your very verses that will get you out of that situation if you will stand on the promises of God. So, ba je kwe oti man gba we, o man gba dura, o man gba we, o man gba dura, o gba we, gba we, gba we. To be, ga te je kwe gbo gbo 
wo san oro re lo fe yo tan sibe sibe wa so pe mo ti gba we kini n wo se bayi ti won fi yori ohun ti mo so fun e la le ni pe awon ese oro olorun ti mo nka fun yi oni lo won mark 11 verse 22 mark ori kokan lese kejile logun and jesus answering says unto them have faith in god jesus si da o si fun won pe eni igbagbo si olorun are the chariots of pharaoh running after you to destroy you have faith in god awon oni keke ogun pharaoh wa nle pa re te fe pa run bi ni igbagbo ninu olorun are you so sick the doctors say they don't know what they are going to do have faith in god o wa sai san to be get awon dokita fo mo rin won ti mi ri pa awon mo ta won o se mo bi oni igbagbo ninu olorun have you been having accident every year last year the other year the other year the other year accident every time and you are saying what is all this what have i done how will i be how will i be redeemed and saved and rescued from this situation have faith in god o wa je pe igbagbo golo ma ni jamba oko tonu to koja odun to tele ti idun ta odun to tele lo n gbogbo re ijamba oko ijamba oko o wa nke gbe pe won a mo bi won se ko e kese jari laye mi o ohun ti mo so fun eni pe ni igbagbo ninu olorun because of the problem in the house husband has run away and husband said i cannot bear this one there's no money to feed children there's no money to take care of the family and i so run away you don't even know where to find him now and you say what am i going to do hunger on the one side poverty on the other one mystery on the other side the relatives are saying me what have you done with your husband have you sacrificed him have faith in god on go go drojuru ninu ebi re to be ge ti oko fi jade ni le ti o si sa lo nitori pe o so wi pe ohun o le toju aya to wo ma toju omo ma nitori ai ni to wa nu aye re on go go wa do lobi ru po ninu aye re lowo kan ebi ninu o si lowo keji ai ni lo duwo lowo keta awon ana re to so pe oko re ada bo ti fi ru bo ni o ti mo so pe oni pe ko ni igbagbo ninu olorun you stand on the promises of god tonight iwo du olori ile ri olorun la leyi that cry will come to an end o e kun ye yo do pin stand on the promises of god tonight du olori ile ri olorun la leyi that mountain will move o ke yen o di dada yo si stand on the promises of god tonight iwo du olori ile ri olorun la leyi god will lift you up from the dungeon from the valley will lift you up to the mountain top olorun yo gbo dide lati nu ibi ti o wa ni ni ipo ile to wa ni yo si gbo soke if you will only believe you will see the glory of god ki wo ba le gbagbo wa ri ogo olorun have faith in god ni gbagbo ninu olorun the very least say unto you nitori lo to ni mo wi fun yin that so ever shall say to this mountain eni kan ti o ba wi fun oke yi pe who so ever shall say to this mountain eni kan ti o ba wi fun oke yi pe who so ever shall say to this mountain eni kan ti o ba wi fun oke yi pe who so ever shall say to this mountain eni kan ti o ba wi fun oke yi pe be thou removed and be cast into the sea si di ki o si bo sinu oko i shall not doubt it in his heart ti ko ba si si e meji ni okan re but shall believe that those things which he say shall come to pass so ba ti o ba gbagbo pe ohun ti ohun wi yi o se Whatsoever the mountain of affliction okay, who is willing to say to this mountain be thou removed the mountain of poverty okay, the mountain of joblessness okay, the mountain of affliction okay, the mountain of demonic attack okay, who is willing, willing to stand up in all authority and in all boldness standing on the promises of God and say to this mountain be thou removed why are you just keeping quiet why do you want the mountain to fall upon you when there is authority in your mouth when the power of God is in your heart when the word of the Lord is in you when the Lord is challenging you to say unto this mountain it is not time to cry it is not the time to be regretting we children of God have authority within us say to this mountain tonight say to this mountain tonight so okay, say to this mountain tonight so okay, be thou removed you will, see the... you will not destroy me oh, ne, I will overcome I am more than a conqueror the promises of God are for me I, I will live. live I shall not die no, I will you. be victorious no, you mountain will not remain in my life you, okay, okay, God, you God, sickness will not remain in my life you, God, you God, sin God. will not remain in my life you, God, and the God. devil will not remain in my family you, your familiar spirit will not remain in these children. 
my mouth. And all your troubles you are going to get away. Go where you are like lonely low low. Arise and say to your mountain. Did they go back in us? Arise and say to that mountain. Did they go back in us or be be thou removed? See the and be cast into the sea. And Jesus said, It shall be so. Yes, so you'll be bad. It shall be so. You'll be bad. It shall be so. You'll be bad. It shall be so. You'll be bad. You will have whatever you say in the boldness of faith. Remember all through your life. Stand on the promises of God. I believe you have been blessed. Don't let this message die. Listen to it again and pass it to others. You can get more from God at the Deeper Life Bible Church. Our headquarters is Deeper Life Bible Church, Bagada, Lagos, Nigeria. Blessed are your ears for hearing these things. We'll meet in heaven if you do them.